This is Spencer Ackerman for Wired.com. Just got off an MV22 tilt rotor Marine Osprey coming from the USS Wasp about 60 miles off the southeast Atlantic coast uh, here to Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point in North Carolina. That was part of uh, the bold alligator exercise. This is a very big operation and the reason why it's so important is because the Marines and the Navy haven't really worked together as part of a team for a decade as the Marine Corps have been rather busy in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now what they're testing with a lot of air and sea assets from the USS Wasp, the USS Kearsarge, USS San Antonio, the USS Iwo Jima, the French Mistral ship and assets from other nations is how all of them can work together as a team to make sure that uh, when they face threats from uh, nations like China and Iran, they can sort of knit together as a whole to take territory away from hostile forces. The exercise in particular tested some capabilities that the Navy and the Marine Corps wanted to make sure they have. Like for instance, how to sail through a very narrow strait like the choke point at the Strait of Hormuz off the coast of Iran where about a fifth of the world's oil transits every day. That was something they tested on Sunday. Today, the Marines and the Navy uh, tested how they come ashore at, uh, off the Virginia coast near uh, Fort Pickett. Um, and we're waiting to hear a lot of what their lessons learned were from that, uh, how they ended up working together, uh, how they might need to refine some uh, techniques, some tactics, some capabilities and procedures of the future uh, to figure out how they can work together on this very important mission.